The Soviets also have engine problems. Their new designer Nikolai Kuznetsov has been forced to add extra engines to provide more thrust. The first stage now has 30. But he faces criticism from Koryolov's old adversary, Valentin Grushko. During the static firing of the NK-15, there was a partial blowout of the combustion chamber. Uh, comrades, uh, we need not go any further. You can see for yourselves that these engines are not fit for the N-1, nor for any other rocket for that matter. Wait, wait. These faults were not in the design, but simple manufacturing errors. At this stage, uh, I wish to propose redesigning the N-1. I have plans that would utilize our proven RD-235 engine. Ignoring Glushko's opposition, Koryanov's dream rocket, the N-1, makes a fleeting appearance on the pad. But engineers find cracks in its outer casing. But just 17 days before the American moon mission, Mission is ready for an unmanned launch of his lunar rocket. Well, now we get to see who is right. To succeed, Kuznetsov's 30 engines must all fire together. Torn apart with almost the force of a nuclear bomb, it is the most powerful explosion in the history of rocketry. Caused by a single bolt sucked into a fuel pump, the explosion scatters pieces of debris over 10 kilometers. The failure is a state secret for 20 years. Disaster effectively ends the career of the silly mission.